What do you think, Maggie? Less than five miles from St. Andrews State Park is the hustle and bustle of Panama City Beach. But from where we are, you'd never know it. <laughs> One of the four state park jewels that dot the Emerald Coast of Florida, it was totally destroyed in 2018 by Hurricane Michael. But she's back, better than ever. She's full of waterfront sites, beautiful white beaches, and so much wildlife that it makes you feel like you're in another world. Hi, we're Owen, Lynn, and Maggie of Van Trekking Lifestyle, and we're glad we get to share that world with you today. Come along with us. This is why you come camping. Words don't describe how good it feels to be here. One of the fun things we love to do when we get to a park, especially the first day after we uh, spend the first night, is to get out on the bikes and try to explore and see what all is here. So our first stop is walking out to the beach. What else would you do when you come to a beach camp? That's right. No beach access, just an observation point. Well, we don't want to do that. No, let's turn around. We, we don't want to do this one. We want to go walk out to the beach like we just said. Never get tired of this. Wow, look at this drop off. Wow. Wow, <laughs> wow look at this. Huge. This is different. Drop off here. Walking on the beach. So there's a shell right here. It's kind of deep. Lynn's going in after it. Probably going to be alive. Probably might have something in it. You're gonna time it? Okay, now. Ah, it's got a hole in the back of it. I see. It's the shell really bad. I don't even see one. Here, try to. Oh, wow. Yeah, food. So when you come here, you can go <laughs> shelling. But well, like you just saw with Lynn, most of the shells you're going to find here are either picked over or they're going to be tumbled a lot because of the way the coastline is here. Most of them are going to be broken up. If you're looking for shells, if there's an island nearby called Shell Island, that might be where most of the shells are. So here's the drop-off from the beach side. It's what? Seven feet? Eight. Well, this was a great thing to do our first morning here at St. Andrews State Park. At least our shoes are still here. Still here, I know. Yeah. Cool. And we made a little barbecue pizza, but a stacked barbecue pizza on tortillas. Good, good, good. Mmm. So what do we use on the pizza? Cooked the rotisserie chicken, put the tortillas on there, flipped them over once, started laying all the ingredients on, which are barbecue sauce, the chicken, 
Then we put a little bit of red onion and a little bit of uh, fresh basil, a little mozzarella pearl balls on top of that, a layer of tortilla on top of that, and then we repeat the whole thing, put another tortilla on, keep flipping it, and it turns out like this. And that. And we split one, so. That is a great. It doesn't look like much, but it tastes better than it looks. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's following the dolphin up into here. They're going crazy out here. Ride the bike and the Toto basket and go maybe go for a hike. Should we not take her? Okay, we're gonna have to come back to this one without Maggie. I didn't realize you had to work so close to the water in order to be able to walk on the trail. And we just heard something jump off and go in the water. I think it was a gator. I was pretty close to it, so. So, so we'll take Maggie back and we'll ride back out another time and go on this trail. That's a little girl that loves to take a bath right here, guys. After the whole process yeah. is done, she likes being clean. She loves being clean. Yeah. A little baby shampoo for our baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no more tears. No more tears, Maggie. That's good right there. The bath doesn't last long for Maggie because she still likes to get out and roll around. You <laughs> uh, feel good, sweetheart. Good warm bath. Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to dry me off, Mama. I'll just sit right here. What do you think, Maggie? Ready to get dried off? Yeah, I think she is. Dry you little head off in Go get in your bed. Come on, go get in your bed. Maybe the other side. Whoa, yep. Come here, you're drying off a little bit. <laughs> in your bed. I know. Hey, lay down. Lay down. Baby, I came down here to get a video of a sailboat. Stepped on a snake. Venomous snake, but still, still has a chance when it starts wiggling under your foot to make your britches turn brown. It's a beautiful day here and the water has calmed down the wind has calmed down so i think i think it's a perfect time for us to take the orus out and explore a little on the water here pee in before we go it's a good idea put you in the back
going to paddle right out here because, believe it or not, there are dolphins just right out here. Boats in the water, sails in the sky. Everybody's happy. I don't know why. Seems they left all the worries back on the land. I hear the water does that to a man. And nothing beats being out here and seeing and hearing dolphin like that. Man, that's just. I don't know about you, but that makes me grin every time. Oh man, was that not the coolest thing? Nothing before me, nothing behind. Just open water. Clear sky and mind And there's boats in the water Sails in the sky and Everybody's happy I don't know why Seems they left all their worries better time on the water in our lifetime. So we're sitting out here eating uh, chicken roll-ups. And this guy is just sitting right above us. Hey buddy, you want chips with yours too? Make it a roll-up? Every day we've been here, this osprey has shown up either sitting there before hunting or after hunting and finding something. <laughs> what you think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool to be able to sit here and watch him eat while we're eating, isn't it? Really cool to watch. So we're gonna try the Gator Lake Trail again with Aunt Maggie.
in for about 10 minutes watching these birds. Shrimp tacos! That was a good trick putting that underneath that like yeah, that. Oh, I lost one. Mango salsa. Yep. Here's your bite, guys. Who's hoping it's as beautiful as the sunset we're watching going down over there in the west? sailboats out there. It's been a great day. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Man, that's do the shrimp. <laughs> oh, man. Don't do the shrimp. <laughs> Let's do the shrimp. <laughs> shrimp, baby. That is so good. Snaggy mm. ah! wants a shrimp, huh? Okay. We'll see. I don't know if she likes shrimp or not. Sit down. Okay. You ready? You want one? Is it good? Give me high five if it's good. Good. Okay. Good. This pier, well, this is the delineation between the state park and the public beach, which right now is in right in the middle of uh, spring break mode with all the uh, college kids here. So look at the difference. This is state park mode. Very few people, nothing built up at all, all the dunes and everything else. This is the other side of the pier. Hotels and condos just as far as you can see tons and tons and tons of people already out on the beach even though it's not a really pretty day i can see why though look it is beautiful one of the really cool things about walking out on this pier is the water is so clear you can actually see the bottom right there's a little stingray right there well it is There's a huge ray there. Man. This morning we're doing something we don't usually do and we feel bad because we don't. It's our day to check out and move to the next spot. But you can stay until one. We're only an hour away from the next campsite. 
it doesn't make sense to get up and just head out and rush out. But we always do. It's human nature. It's something we always do. But today, we talked ourselves into trying to enjoy the beach. Just not be in such a rush to leave where we are to get to where we're going. And enjoy one more bit of where we are. And where we are is beautiful. Wow, what you see when you get to the top of this dune. <laughs> oh, wow. Such a beautiful place, isn't it? Owen's doing some last minute prep and cleaning the windows and getting us all cleaned because up and ready don't to go. We have blind spot detection on this thing, which has now been repaired three different times. Uh, you have to make sure the mirrors are very clean and you have to make sure you can see through that little porthole window. Because that's the only way you're going to see that nut that pulls up beside of you. Yep. So we're all packed up, ready to leave this place, St. Andrews state park it's been a great state park and i'm kind of sad to leave it we kind of was here long enough to kind of get a routine in and and it's been awesome sitting out here every day by the water and watching the dolphins and the sailboats go by <laughs>